Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I have an awesome fall makeup tutorial for you guys, so please keep watching. Alright guys, so I already primed my face, so I'm going to do my brows first, and I'm going to use my favorite product ever to uh, fill in and define my brows, and that's the NYX Eyebrow Gel. So I'm going to brush out my brows first. And make sure all the hairs are laying down nicely and I'm going to use my NYX eyebrow shaper it's a little chubby <laughs> tiny little pencil now because I'm almost done with it so I got to get some more it basically just lays my hairs right down for me and what I like to do this is actually the top to a candle and I squeeze a little bit of the brow product in there and I use it as my pan so I don't have to use my hands and get it all dirty and whatnot. The trick with this product is you don't want to be too heavy handed. You just want just enough on your brush. And you just go in with light strokes just so that your strokes look like actual brow hairs and your brows don't look painted on. Make sure you just brush your product through to make sure that it blends well. So now I'm going to move on to foundation and I just happened to buy one foundation that was too light for me and one foundation that was too dark for me so I actually mixed the two. And the two that I use is the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect and this is in the color Cappuccino. And then I use my Matte Plus Poreless the Fit Me Foundation and this color is Toffee Caramel. So yeah, too dark, too light. So I mix the two together and I use the same pan and um, I'm just going to give one full pump of the Photo Ready Foundation and then I give like about oh, a drop of that and it's almost the same amount really and then I just mix the two together and then I just dot my foundation on you do this all over and this is just so I don't cake it on I take my favorite tool to use to apply my foundation in my beauty blender and this is moist and working with it moist is just easier I think it applies the foundation much better the photo ready foundation has like a slight red undertone and the fit me foundation has a yellow undertone and I actually do have a mix of the two and this is another reason why I like to mix both foundations really good coverage it matches my skin so well, like I barely blended it down my neck and I look the same color. So that's why I love, love, love mixing these two foundations. It just works so well. And it's matte, so I don't have that high shine going. It also has light reflecting particles in it, so it gives me a glow as well. So you guys should really try the Photo Ready Foundation. It's really, really nice. So now I'm going to lightly contour my face. Um, I don't like to do a heavy contour, just a nice natural one, just to blend my forehead better into my face because my forehead in real life is darker. <laughs> and then I do like to define my cheekbones just a little bit more and my jawline. So I'm going to use my basic CoverGirl foundation. I don't even know the line. Oh, it's from the Queen Collection. So shout out to Queen Latifah. <laughs> And this is in the color True Ebony. I wanted to get a dark enough foundation um, that will give me a great contour. It's so hard to find contouring colors because there aren't a great selection of dark foundations in general. So, um, and like when you buy contouring palettes, same thing, it's so hard to find a color that's um, dark enough for our skin tone so um, I went with a, 
foundation and the Queen Collection has a great collection of darker toned foundations. So um, that's why I chose this one. Just a light, like you can barely see this contour. And then just a little bit on the jawline. And then I'm going to blend this out with my second beauty blender, my pink one. And this is also moist, so it's easy for me to blend and work with. I'm just going to dab my face. So yeah, see how fast that was? I am so forgetting things. All right, so now that I've contoured, I've actually meant to um, highlight first, which is what I usually do, but I forgot to do that, so I'll do that right now. And I have a new product I've been using, and it is actually called uh, Nude Sticks. You can find this at Sephora, and I'm not sure where else they sell it, online, of course. And um, it's a concealer pencil. All their products are in pencil form, so that's why it's called Nude Sticks. I'm just going to make a V. And I also like to do my forehead just a little tad. Which is my nose. And you see it's just a nice natural glow to my face. It's not a huge like deer in the headlights highlight. It's just a nice natural glow. So I really, really enjoy this product so much. So now I'm going to set my highlight and contour with my contour and blush palette 2 from BH Cosmetics. This one does come off a little bit chalky so I do use it sparingly. I don't put too much product on the brush. But let me set the highlight first. And now I'm going to set my contour. And now I'm going to set my full face with the Fit Me Press Powder and the color Coconut 355. Okay, so for this look, all the colors that I will be using can be found in the 26 color palette by BH Cosmetics. And this has eyeshadows and blushes, and I'll be using the blush from here as well. I think I want to use these three colors here because they are so fall like. This whole palette is great for fall, by the way. I think I'll start with this color here as the base color. Now I want to go in with this gray charcoal color here for the outer V of my eye. And I think I'm going to take it up a little high just so I can give it a smoky effect. it out so it's not so harsh. So since this looks a mess a little bit over here, <laughs> I'm going to clean that up with some concealer. Okay, so to deepen the smoky effect a little bit more, I'm going to go in with this plum-ish color here. It's really pretty, right in the crease. So 
So now I'm going to pull a little bit of that same charcoal color on the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with this pretty gold color right here. So for my eyeliner, I'm going to go in with the Master Graphic uh, Felt Tip Liner. Okay, so I ended up doing a crazy huge cat eye, but that's okay. Now we're gonna go in with mascara. And I just like to apply about two coats of this. Now I'm pretty much done, but of course I need to apply my blush and I'm going back to the BH Cosmetics palette. And I am just going in with this plum shade and I don't really wear this color year round so um, this is more of a fall slash winter color for me. I'm going to highlight with my Milani Baked Bronzer in the color Glow. For lipstick, hmm, since I have a lot of color going on, I'm going to keep the lips pretty simple. So, like a boring girl, I'm just going to go in with my NYX Butter Gloss in Maple Blondie. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in Maple Kiss. And I'm just going to go over that just to darken it up a little bit. And then to finish everything off, I'm just going to spray all over my face with the NYX, what is this, matte finish. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like and comment this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you next time.